Hey guys, Omar here, and today we're gonna to look at the Laowa 15 millimeter F4 lens, which is a macro lens. Now, you guys know how much I love my Rokinon 12 millimeter F2 lens for that dreamy background, but you can get up close, minimum focus distance thing. Love that about the lens. So I was looking for something for my Canon system where in events I could get some quirky views. And then I saw a video by DSLR shooter that showed this. <laughs> and that was super cool. If you don't know DS DSLR Shooter, awesome channel. I'll link them up below, subscribe, great. But he showed how for video, you can get some really cool perspectives from a lens that can have a minimum focus distance of like touch the glass. I was more interested in the photography side of it to get really macro shots of details, of flowers, of maybe like centerpieces, and also show some of the environment, some of the room. All right, first let's show you what you get in the box and my first impressions when I first put it on the camera. All right, it arrived in a strange white box. We cut it open and it came in brown paper, kind of like a ham. Here's the box, the 1-1 macro lens, Laowa, cool font there. $4.99 was the price. If you open up the box, you get a cool styrofoam inside, chuck it and file it. We have here a little lens hood, which has a cool little texture to it. The lens came in a nice shrink wrap package just to keep it nice and fresh. Of course, keep in all that good lens smell. And we cut it open here and oh, just let that lens smell come out. Delicious. Okay, so it's got some good weight to it. And if we take a look at the glass here, beautiful. It's got a 77 millimeter thread, which is great. There you can see the back. This is where you can see the shift mechanism uh, to, uh, again, straighten lines. Focus uh, is very, very smooth. It's got that nice tight, just like the Rokinon 12 millimeter. Uh, works really great. And uh, I love the blue ring. It's awesome. The uh, aperture ring being smooth instead of clickable is very, very cool. So overall, beautiful, beautiful lens. Um, here it is next to the 17 millimeter, 17 to 40 millimeter Canon, just so you can get a size comparison. Here it is next to the 16 to 35 f4, and here it's next to a Captain America lens cap. I then decided to play around with the, uh, here's me playing with the aperture, um, and I just wanted to see how close I can get. You know, when I first got the lens, I wanted to see how close I could get. So um, here you can kind of see it has a little bit of a zooming effect if you, uh, you know, change the um, the distance and look at the fingerprints that's crazy and you can actually get so close to the glass um, with a 40 you know like a four millimeter focus distance that you actually sometimes touch the glass there are my fingerprints in focus then I played around with some watches and got you know some metal close to the glass which is really smart and uh, just to see detail and of course we have cap hey how you doing how you doing there and what's weird is I started playing with cap this weird red bug came out of nowhere and uh, this little mite, and I was like trying to follow it to get sort of a macro look, uh, and it was moving way too fast. Um, but now I know that uh, Cap is contaminated with bugs. That's great. Now the lens I'm shooting this right now with is the 16 to 35 f4 Canon lens, and it can get pretty close. Look, look, I'm getting, I'm getting up in your face right now. I'm about, mm, I'm about like four inches from the lens. Uh, but if you wanted to show something macro-y or something close, so here's my watch. Okay, so if I wanted to show, I'm manually focusing you now. <laughs> On the 16 to 35, if I wanted to show you the detail of my watch, I probably, this is the minimum focus distance. I could show you about yay much detail. Now we're gonna switch from the 16 to 35 F4 to the Laowa 15 millimeter F4 macro. Okay, this is the Laowa 15mm f4, a little wider as you can see than the 16, not by much, but boop, a little bit more. You're getting some more of the Hulk over here and a little bit of the lamp over there. I think it's a little wider, but uh, this is a manual focus lens. So if you are doing, I have my computer here so I can sort of track my vice. Uh, but if you are doing video, you're going to need someone to, so if I get closer, you're going to have to refocus just like that. But I have it at f4 right now, and I can get close like this to there, and pretty much looks kind of like the Canon right now. But here's what it can do. Okay, now on the Laowa, if I wanted to show you my watch. Okay, there's my watch right there. Oh, that's kind of nice. There's my watch right there. 
Oh, hello. There's my watch right there. Check it out. Well, you can even see the gross little skin things on my nails, baby. So uh, I'm almost right up on the glass there. Oh, yeah. And you can see at the bottom right there, made in Germany. Hold on. Yeah. Now I'm going to stop down a little bit because that gives me more depth of field. So it's going to get darker, more depth of field for macro, which means I need to raise my ISO. Hold on. Let me do that. Pop. Okay. So now I have a little bit more depth. And if you notice when I change the aperture like this, it's, it's, there's no clicks. You get some nice smooth aperture changes, which is great. That's kind of different for me. All right, so let's go right up on the glass here. All right, we just touched the glass. Nice, metal on metal, that's gotta be good. Uh, turning it around so you could see the little leather grain. So the idea for, photo Whoa, for photography is if you were gonna show the room in the background, if you wanted to take a picture of someone's watch, like a groom or something, you could do a cool photograph super close up like this, but in the back you might see the hotel room, you might see the uh, wedding reception area, um, this is great for the rings, maybe. Um, do I have a ring here? Yeah, I got my ring here. So if you take a picture of the rings, let's pretend the room is in the background. Now, one of the issues is uh, getting lighting. You're so close to the glass. Look at my fingerprints, yo. <laughs> so you're so close to the glass that you need to light uh, you need like a lot of side light to come in because the actual lens, let me take the lens hood off here. Get a little bit more light on the ring. There we go. So let's see how close we can get to the groom's ring. What? That's crazy. That's crazy right there. Whoa, you can see my egg head in the background. Ooh, but you can see, you can see, you can get really creative with, um, you know, coming up with some cool new perspectives on things. Let's see if you can read what's in my ring there. Cool. You really need to get a manicure though if you do videos like this. <laughs> Isn't that crazy cool? Anyway, I've only had the lens for a little while, but I've got to try it at a couple of events. Again, the goal to take pictures of items really macro close up, but show the room in the background. So I did a cake topper invitation. I've also done this wine glass at a temple. And so far, so good. You know, it's working great and giving that cool, funky perspective, which you don't usually see, which was the goal. All right, here we are on the Fuji X-T20 12 millimeter Rokinon. And this is what the Venus Optics Laowa looks on the Canon 5D Mark IV. And the, uh, it has, like I said, it has that little shifting feature, which lets you straighten up lines in the photograph, which is cool. And uh, <laughs> I forgot to tell you, there was this amazing macro photographer uh, shooting, but he must have been like the bug whisperer because he totally had it. He must have like, he had the insects that close. Uh, but you can see the background. You can see a person's face in the background. So I'll link him up below. Incredible, incredible work. Let's show you on the Rokinon how close you can get if you're, you know, showing someone your watch from made in Germany. Zin. Right there. Minimum focus distance. So if you had to show the room in the background and the detail of an item, you can fake it. You can totally fake it on the Rokinon 12 millimeters. It looks, that looks super nice, super clear. Ooh. So uh, not bad, not bad at all if you have the 12 millimeter F2 lens. Now you can't get like the, you know, the Laowa can get up up in your face like that. All right, so it doesn't do macro macro, but with the 12 millimeter F2 on the Fuji X-T20, it can fake it, you know, and it kind of gets the same look. So nice. All right, some pros and cons. Pros, it's got a 77 millimeter thread length, which is the same as my 17 to 40 and 16 to 35 for Canon. Two, the smooth aperture ring is great. I so used to the clicks of my Fuji lenses, I thought I wouldn't like it, but it actually works pretty great. Look at now it is weird that the aperture is actually in the front usually your focus is the first ring so i for a couple of times i've kept you know changing the focus instead of the aperture next that crazy minimum focus distance for macro is amazing maybe i should do my videos like this from now on eiffel tower in my hand eiffel tower in my hand <laughs> hey look who it is guys giant cap 
me like Fuji X-T20. So this lens is by Venus Optics, a Chinese company. But if you go to their website, they're trying to do really cool things. You know, instead of competing with everything that's out there already, like Tamron is doing and Sigma is doing, they're going in a new direction, which is cool. It seems like they're making quirky, one-of-a-kind lens. Like this lens is the first, it's the widest one-to-one -one macro lens that's made anywhere. Check them out. I'll link them up below. The Venus Optics Laowa lenses. It's confusing. Are they Laowa or are they Venus Optics?